Uh, welcome, everyone. It's great to see so many enthusiastic sea datas from all over the state. We've got people, we've got 116 people in the room from 70 sea dads across New South Wales. A testament to the incredible work that's happening out there through the sea dat program. So, um, we're in for a single day of packed, packed with learning and networking um, to enhance the work that you're doing in your local areas in reducing harms associated with alcohol and other drug use. My name's Norman Booker. I'll be facilitating the processes of the day, trying to um, keep us on track in terms of time uh, and seeking your cooperation in that. For me, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, I was with you at your conference back in 2015, and I've done some other bits and pieces of work with uh, ADF and see that's in the interim. Um, but it's it's really good to see the progress of the CDAP program over the years. I was proliferally involved in the beginning of the CDAP program back in 1999, or back in 2000, after the drug summit in New South Wales in 1999. Um, and the way it's evolved and grown since then is quite um, spectacular, really. But before we begin, or as we begin today, we acknowledge the fact that we're on Aboriginal land. Um, and I'm delighted to welcome to the podium Uncle Bill Smith, who is a Wirrigan elder, uh, who is going to give us a welcome to his country. So please welcome Uncle Bill. Yama, Yama, Marawa. Can you say that? Yama, Yama, Marawa? Yama, Yama, Marawa. It's hello, how are you? It's good to be here. And I'm very proud to stand here behind, to walk with this land, this country of the first people, our people. I offer a hand of friendship to each and every one of you to walk together as one so our children and children can walk hand in hand into the race, colour, breed and nomination and maintain their holding to the land, their belongings, to the country, their place of origin. To so about the first people I welcome this land, this country and this place. It's our constructive and positive meeting. I see a sign up there talking about drug and alcohol and all that, eh? Well, it wouldn't be easy if you wasn't passionate about your roles and functions and your commitment. So don't be afraid to talk and share with one another and ask one another. And don't leave this conference with a question. My father, if you don't ask, you'll never know. So share it with one another. Talk to one another. Stop, sit, be still and listen. And share. Because whether it's drugs or whether it's alcohol or whatever it may be, it just does not affect that one person. It affects the whole family. It's affecting the community. So it's a major role to play in your positions. So I'll hold your right hand up, eh, please? You do that in some way? You hold your life in your hands, but you hold other people's lives in your hands too. So stop, sit still and listen to them and work your way through their problems. You can put them down now. There's a lot of distributing factors. If you don't sit and listen and work with them, you'll never learn their problems and how to deal with it and find the answers in a network and give those resources and backup. That's what you're about. So close your eyes for a second, eh? You don't mind? I want you to think why you're here. I want to think about your fellow workers and friends and family back home. I want to think about your responsibilities that you've got within oneself. And I was taught that people must respect oneself to respect others. One must treat people the same way as one be treated and speak to them the same way. So just think for a little while what you want to get out of this conference and this gathering and sharing knowledge. I don't talk about education. It's not our language. It's knowledge that's been handed down for thousands and thousands of years. So share what you've got with one another. Maraba, good. You can open your eyes. Now, I've only got a minute, I think, left. <laughs> time is time is where I come from. When you're talking about country, you just can't cut and run. You're the country. And now, Ah, uh -huh, look out. <laughs> <laughs> 
because sometimes when crime comes early, for early comes strength. You involved with the community and think about those things. He said, when you told him to turn around and hug the man next year, so I love you, don't think you're less a man, guess who hugged who? Father and son for the first time in 10 years were crying out loud. My, now I'll tell you what my people told me growing up. Here today and going tomorrow. Just passing through. So don't be afraid to say hi or hello to someone. And don't be afraid to hug your family before you leave and when you go back home. That's why I want you to hug one another. To say you love one another. Because today you folks are working together for Mel Holman Hayne. You're going to climb that mountain like my father said. Fulfill your dream and your vision. Don't let people pull you back. So you just go ahead. You've got supervisors here, you've got timekeepers here. <laughs> but the thing that you've got to worry about is don't leave you without you've got a answer to a solution or a resolution, what I like to say. The only way you'll get it is work together and share with one another. Marabai, yama, I better cut and go. Thank <laughs> you.